Ever wonder why narcissists lie about cheating even when caught? One reason is self-protection. Yes, you heard it right. They've been unfaithful but they'll deny it, even if you've caught them red-handed. It's quite baffling, isn't it? But the reason behind this behavior is their desperate attempt to protect themselves. They don't want to face the consequences of their actions. They dread the emotional distress, the loss of reputation, and potentially the end of the relationship. It's a defense mechanism, a way to maintain their image, their control, their world as they want it to be. Narcissists lie to shield themselves, not to spare you any pain. They're not thinking about your feelings, your trust, or your heartbreak. They're thinking about their needs, their image, their security. It's a selfish act, one that clearly signposts their narcissism. You see, for them, lying is not just a way out of a tricky situation. It's a survival tactic, a means to an end. It's how they maintain their carefully constructed reality. It's how they keep their world from crumbling. It's how they keep you in the dark, confused, and questioning your own judgment. If you're dealing with a narcissist, remember this. Their lies are not about you. They're not a reflection of your worth or your ability to trust. They're about the narcissist's fear, their insecurity, their desperate need to avoid the fallout of their actions. So next time you find yourself questioning why a narcissist would lie, even when the evidence is stacked against them, remember this. It's all about self-protection. They're not protecting you. They're protecting themselves. They're preserving their image, their control, their carefully constructed reality. In essence, their need for self-protection outweighs your feelings, your trust, and your heartbreak. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but understanding this can help you make sense of their confusing and hurtful behavior. Next on the list is control and manipulation. For narcissists, lying about infidelity isn't just about self-protection, it's also a method for controlling the narrative and manipulating the perception of others. By denying their unfaithfulness, they are able to craft an alternate reality where they remain the faithful ones, the wronged party. This allows them to shape the story to their advantage painting themselves as the victim rather than the villain. This isn't just about lying, it's about power. It's about controlling the story, controlling the perception, and ultimately controlling you. It's a game of manipulation, and in this game, the narcissist is always the winner. This need for control and manipulation stems from a desperate desire to maintain a perfect image. The flawless facade they've worked so hard to construct is their armor, their shield. It's what protects them from criticism, from judgment, from the consequences of their actions. In their world, they are the heroes, not the villains. They are the wronged, not the wrongdoers. And if they can control the narrative, if they can manipulate your perception, then they can maintain this illusion. Their manipulation is a defense mechanism that controls their environment and the people within it. Just remember, beneath the surface of their lies, beneath the facade of their control, is a desperate need to maintain a perfect image. And that's something they will do anything to protect. Another reason narcissists lie about cheating is gaslighting. You see, beneath the surface of control and manipulation, there's a deeper and more sinister form of deceit that narcissists often employ. And that's gaslighting. Gaslighting is a technique in which the narcissist will cause you to question your intuition or evidence of their infidelity. It's a mind game that's a classic move in the narcissist's repertoire, and it's a particularly cruel one at that. So, how does it work? Well, when you're certain they've been unfaithful, they'll deny it vehemently. They'll twist the truth, contort the facts, and sometimes they'll even accuse you of being paranoid or overly suspicious. The aim of this manipulation is to confuse you, to make you doubt your judgment, and ultimately to control you. You may find yourself thinking, am I going crazy? Is this all in my head? This is precisely the reaction they're hoping for. The more you doubt yourself, the more control they gain. Gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse. It leaves you feeling lost, questioning your own sanity, and feeling utterly alone. It's a destructive and damaging tactic, but remember, it's just that, a tactic. It's a deliberate ploy designed to keep you off balance. So, when you're dealing with a narcissist, remember to trust your instincts and stand by your evidence. Gaslighting is a cruel mind game designed to confuse you, make you doubt your judgment, and ultimately control you. A narcissist's image is crucial to them, and they will lie about cheating to maintain their status. Indeed, their reputation, their persona, the way they are perceived by others is of paramount importance to them. It's about more than just vanity. It's about control, power, and influence. A narcissist's social standing is their currency, and they will do anything to safeguard it. Imagine a narcissist as an artist, meticulously crafting a masterpiece. 
This masterpiece is their self-image, an idealized, perfected version of themselves. They paint themselves as charismatic, charming, and infallible, a person to be admired and respected. Every stroke of the brush is a carefully calculated move, designed to enhance their image and elevate their status. However, admitting to infidelity is like throwing a bucket of black paint over this painstakingly crafted artwork. It would tarnish their image, possibly irreparably. To the narcissist, this is unthinkable. They fear the shame, the scandal, the loss of respect that could come with such an admission. They fear the damage it could do to their social standing, the power they might lose over those who admire them. So they lie. They deny the indiscretions, the betrayals, the infidelity. They use deceit as a tool to maintain their status, to protect their image, to keep their masterpiece unblemished. Their social image is a crucial part of their identity, and they'll go to great lengths to preserve it. Lastly, narcissists often fail to acknowledge the harm their actions might cause due to their lack of empathy. This characteristic is a cornerstone of narcissism, a trait that makes them oblivious to the pain and suffering they inflict on others. Their world revolves around their needs, their desires, their ambitions. They are the stars of their own show, and everyone else, merely supporting actors. This self-centered mindset makes it challenging for them to step outside their bubble and truly understand the impact of their actions. Imagine a scenario where a narcissist has cheated on you. You're devastated, heartbroken, and in pain. But when you confront the narcissist, they seem indifferent. It's not that they're intentionally being cruel or cold-hearted, they just can't comprehend your pain. It's like trying to explain color to someone who's been colorblind their whole life. They simply can't grasp the concept. This lack of empathy is what allows them to lie about their infidelity without batting an eye. They may even feel justified in their actions, perceiving their cheating as a result of your shortcomings, not their own. It's a twisted perception that shields them from guilt and responsibility, despite the pain they inflict. They can't grasp the extent of your emotional distress. It's not that they're cold-hearted, they just can't comprehend your pain.